Our sixth presenter is Wenzhou Zhu, whose presentation is titled The Impact of Opting Out of Standardized Tests on College Admissions, an Experimental Investigation. Making college admissions decision could be life-changing. According to the U.S. government statistics, having a college degree earns 65% more than just a high school diploma. But now, our college admissions policy is under a huge debate. Since COVID, more than 80% of U.S. universities adopted the test-optional policy, including Carnage Mellon, meaning that students no longer need to submit their standardized test scores, such as SAT and ACT. Supporters of this policy believe SAT and ACT really puts minority students at disadvantage. But some schools, they disagree. Dartmouth, Yale, and MIT became the first elite universities to reinstate SAT and ACT requirement. And they argue not submitting SAT and ACT scores actually hurt minority students. Despite the huge debate about test optional policy, there is actually limited empirical evidence on how such policy affect individual students. So in my research, I investigate this question from two perspectives. First, for students who decide to submit or withhold their SAT scores. And second, from evaluators' perspective, how to make decisions about students with and without SAT submitted. As a social psychology researcher, I use experiments to investigate this question. In one study, people play the role of high school advisors and they make decisions about whether or not to submit ACT scores for hypothetical applicants. In a subsequent study, people make evaluations decisions and decide what they want to admit those applicants. What I found? First, evaluators, they really punish those people without SAT being submitted, even if we tell them the score is hidden by random chance. But did applicants realize or anticipate such punishment? No. In my experiment, about 40% of people withhold ACT score, and this is especially true for people who lack strategic reasoning knowledge. This funding is very important. Students from low-income family and underrepresented backgrounds, they often lack guidance, information about how to apply to college, and they are most likely to be at a disadvantage under such test optional policy. More comprehensive guidance is needed, and a fair and transparent admissions policy is required in order to provide students from diverse background an equal opportunity to get access to high, higher education and pursue their life aspirations. Thank you.